like you like need the cannon. Uh, I know a way to do a cannonless. So, <laughs> um, and then there's also doing it co-op on Super Mario 64 online. But me and Manface were trying to do that, and we could not get it set up. Oof. So, yeah, yeah, that, that idea won't exactly work. Um. But then you could also you could do that with like as many people as you want. So like I I think there's like a maximum of like twenty in the server, maybe it's ten, I don't remember. But you can have a lot of people in the uh in the server. Um, but I just wanna do it with like two, maybe three people. Fair enough. I don't like this start. <laughs> I, uh... I, I, I get myself killed way too easily. I'm gonna see... Oh, the bomb's here, so I'm gonna open up the cannon, so that way I can get over there quickly later. Doop. I pressed the punch button. <laughs> see, that's what's supposed to happen. But you need to be like perfectly still in order to talk to them. Unless you don't want to talk to them. Then no matter what, then you start moving and you press the jump button and you talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's always when you don't want to talk. Okay, but can this camera fix itself, please? What are you gonna do, poke him? Uh, gonna poke the star. I've seen, I've seen people like who can get really good at that. I'm not one of those people. Hmm. All right, so that's the second one. The third one is All right. This one, this one's a fun and easy one. Yeah, hey, you know those chests that I opened up before? Normally, that... The first one... Like, the one I'm going to now is the first one. Hmm. For some reason, in the... Uh, in the North American version, and then later in the DS version, they added those chests down there, and I don't know why. I mean, I suppose it's either there's some sort of puzzle and such a random chest that, that lowers the water, but I don't really get the point of it. I mean, it, it really just slows things down, because if you mess up, then now you're going to have to go up to the top of the water, so that way you can just go on your air. Alright. Dupe. Dupe. Oh. Crap. Nice. I was remembering. There's a similar one in Super Mario Odyssey that's actually like a reference to this, uh, but they reverse left and right. So. And I so because of that, I always get confused as to whether it's left or right in both games. <laughs> I I actually wouldn't mind uh, recording Odyssey, but the only way, but I don't have. Thing I would need to record it. So. Yeah. Right. Oh, red coins. Right. Which also means a hundred coins. So. Do we do first, things first up here. Grab onto this somehow. Um. <laughs> seem very safe if I do say so myself. <laughs> Why can I not? <laughs> this game is riddled with invisible walls. N not as much as Star Road, but still quite a few. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I know. It's like I was uh, I was playing Star Road for the for, uh, for the first time, 
uh, after I finished this 100%, uh, like this last time, because it was the first time I finished 100% on the original N64 version. Um, but just like I went to play Star Road, and first of all, invisible walls bounced into them several times. Um, Oof. Second of all, that's seriously like starting a brand new game that you've never played before. I don't know where like any of those stars are. So, yeah, that, that might be something that I might do in the future, and that'd be like a, not exactly blind, but I wouldn't know too much of what, what I'm doing. Um, that'd be something that I wouldn't mind doing in the future. So. But, I've got so many things planned as it is, and that's not even counting like some collab things you might do. Yeah. And I don't know how long this and Zooter will take. No! <laughs> nice. Uh, coins are essential to the hundred coins. Yeah, it's like the, if you don't get these coins, you're just gonna be you're stuck at like an eternal like ninety-seven coins or something like that. Like you need to get like all the coins on the stage. It's, it's crazy. Um. Nice. <laughs> Um. <laughs> nice. Water physics stop being so janky. <laughs> and there's also just those weird spires that have janky physics, but I like blaming on water physics because water physics are always annoying in platformers. And 3D platformers. And some platforms are like largely based around water, so it doesn't so yeah. doing pretty well with it. I also just remembered I should have gotten those right ones last because the star shows up on the on the boat. Mm-hmm. Oh well. I was just, it's like I knew the coins were there. I'm, I was just gonna go and get them. Also, one that I should have gotten, like, as one of the first things I do is this, because there's blue coins here, and it's, but with the timer, I've missed them before, so. And, like I said, you need, like, every single coin. So, it's like, if you miss this, yeah. like, I. You, like, I think there's like four that are here or something like that. You need to get like at least three. Like you can miss maybe one red coin or blue coin. I, like I don't remember if it's that like you'll be missing three coins or if it's that you'll be missing five coins. And then there's three extras. Like if you miss that eight, that's actually four. I'd say a lot, of, a lot of the things that were made easier in the, uh, in the DS version were the, okay, okay, were the, um, were the 100 coins, sorry, they add more coins in places, that way you don't just, you don't miss out on a whole bunch of coins, on like a few coins and not be able to complete the 100 coin mission after you all over again. Because that's when it gets really irritating. Hazy Maze Cave in particular, they made it easier by adding coins like, everywhere. I mean, it was still a pain in the butt to do, but it wasn't as bad. Like, or it, yeah. more, it wasn't as difficult because you didn't, like, you weren't on, like, the brink of death all the time. Yeah. 
I mean, it's still required going throughout the entire stage, which is still tedious, but... It's not the entire stage. Oh, but if, if you miss a single point, you have to completely redo it. I mean, no, it's not that bad, but... You know what I mean. Yeah. It's very unforgiving. Alright, so that's the uh, third star I believe I got there. Uh, okay, fourth. And these other two are short, so I'm almost done with the stage. So, time to break logic once more and go. Boop. And boop. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I mean, aiming that shot is is like the difficult part. Um, I know the approximate area to aim the shot because I've done it several times, and it's about the same place in the DS version too. So I've done it even more times. Um, but it's still. It's like the height that's the issue, because you can't grab onto that entire thing. But then if you're too high, Mario will just, like, glitch out. So. and Or just completely go over it. Alright. Yeah, this is another one that I've missed before, just because I managed to, uh... uh it just takes way too long to sink. Like, still going. Still going. There we go. And so you get like a second of leeway. <laughs> you better have quick yeah. reaction time, otherwise you're not getting that star. Anyway, so that's the... So now I have... Four first floor stages done. Uh, plus the slide. Now to go ghost hunting. They also added a star back here that I feel like was just kind of a random star that they added in. Because they couldn't think of somewhere else to put a star uh, in the DS version. They, want, they wanted to get an even 150. And they probably had like 148. And they didn't know where to put the last one. Oof. Or the last thing too. So it's just one of the ones that they put. Uh, that, that, that's my guess. They had a couple bonus levels, which is pretty cool. Um, and they yeah. actually, they weren't like terrible bonus levels as some might expect. Because a lot of them, because a lot of people don't like the DS version. I grew up with it, so I don't usually mind it, but I can understand. Yeah. Because D-pad is pretty bad, and then there's like compressed voices because it's on the DS. And the sound of the music doesn't sound as good because of the bad speakers on it. So, wait, why am I going for the right ones? So I, I can understand why people don't like the, uh, why people don't like the DS version. Makes perfect sense. Um, but I don't, I don't huge mind it because I grew up with it. So, I'm used to all the controls. Uh, they, they give things. Like, they give you ways to control it with a D-pad, even if it's not great, uh, by having, like, a slow turn effect. Which is in this, but, it's like... Uh... Anyway, let do this. So... Is this the last one? Oh, uh, okay. Could you get off the wall, please? There, there you go. No, no, come on. Come on. Come on. There, there you go. <laughs> oh. I always remember this level being, this, uh, star being longer. I think it was because when I, like, when I first played it, I took forever to get through this, to find all the boost somehow. Um, it's basically just go through each room and if there's a boo, kill it. 
Actually, I think it was that I, I didn't understand that I was supposed to be killing the booze. Because I would kill one and I would get the dialogue box. But I didn't realize that you would that you had to kill all of them in order to make them boo here. Or big boo. <laughs> so I mean it's go on a ghost hunt, but I never really pay attention to that because it it was just random sometimes. <laughs> like th there was no hint to it or anything like that. It just yep, just do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and get off. Oh, you're leaving? Yep. Um, See ya. Yeet. Alright, all right, I'm sorry about that cut there. I was having some difficulty with getting it to work with the full screen. And in the process, I accidentally closed down my recording software. Um, also, and then after that, my mom came in. So. Not that that usually matters, but yeah. So the the cut ended up being a little bit longer. And I have to get reoriented here. Uh, let's see here. So I know there's five, I believe, booze in the merry-go-round, which would give me 25 coins. I had to get if this guy will look at me. I had to get all the other uh, coins before I go down there. Yeah, I found out you could do that a while back. Why stay safe? I didn't do it very well, but it helps to do it on small platforms and such, so you don't have to uh, uh, so you don't have to try to run around them on small space. Because if you're invincible, like if, when you have invincibility frames, you won't lose the invincibility frames if you're touching something that can kill you. So, alright, let's see here, where am I still missing? Right, okay, let go up here, I have to wall jump up here, Good way to do this with the, by jumping on top of a box in the DS version, but, in this, that's not a thing. So you just have to wall jump over. Get in there somewhere. Come on out. Give me your coins. There you are. Alright. And now I should have enough to go to the mag around. Yeah, I suppose there's a whole bunch of coins out here I never got, and there's this guy. So that that could have been faster. But this is one of those levels I don't do often. So I don't remember a lot of the coins that I can get. It's like it's this is the only stage that you come down here in this version. Oh, whoops. So this is the only time you get these you kill these dudes. So because of that, it's off like it's easiest to it's easiest to do it now. So you can get those extra 25 points. That's another star. Oh, I think I think this will turn into like four like four different parts. Also, my dog's going crazy again. Probably can't hear it. When Russell was on before, when my dog was going crazy last time. 
He mentioned that he could not hear my dog, so I doubt that it's even coming through the microphone. It has noise canceling on it. Sometimes it doesn't work right, but oftentimes with background noise, it'll be able to notice when it's background noise. Huh. Very neat thing you can do there. There's no purpose to it. I, I remember seeing it done. I wasn't sure if that was the thing you could do in Melon. 23 is number one. If you know the code from Ocarina of Time. I'm not sure if that was intentional that they used the same code, but they did. And I find that kind of funny when I realize that that was the order. Oh. Just know something else about the co-op version. <laughs> 